Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, October 13, 2021. If you like the support channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to support us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500 and as you can see, we have been back and forward a lot today. It has rallied up towards the 20 exponential and then and broke down and now we're basically at where we started so there's a hesitation in the market uh, whether or not we are supposed to rally or break down my bet is that we are going to see this uh, market retest the previous lows here and the best case scenario probably go towards the 200 moving average but as to be seen if we break above the 50 moving average then we may go back towards our previous highs so if you look at the macd it is technically flat at this point Stochastic has just crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum and the RSI is flat. So momentum is kind of to the downside, but there is definitely the uncertainty and I'm just going to wait where, when to enter this market. No interest in basically doing that at this point. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones has also, um, well, it's more pre probably predictable here. 200 moving average has offered a massive amount of support and the 50 moving average has offered a lot of resistance. So breaking above the 50 moving average, then we can go back to the very highs. Breaking below the 200 moving average, then we will see this market drop significantly further than, uh, than we have seen recently. 8% is kind of where we have been dropping now and we have rallied um, back towards the 50 moving average, gaining roughly half of that. So if you look at the MACD, it is a bullish and negative territory. Stochastic has crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum and the RSI is flat. So breaking below the middle of the bullish band here, then we could go back towards the 200 moving average, which will most likely be bounced off as we have. And in the 50 moving average is also offering a lot of resistance. So we basically need to break one of these moving average in order to determine if we go up or we go down. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is looking more bearish than the other two indices. We have hit massive resistance here at the 20 exponential, roughly at the 15K level. And today we have been all over the place. We are a little bit in red at the end of the session. And it looks like we are going to retest the previous lows here. Around the, uh, we are around the 100 moving average at this current, current stage. But uh, 14,450, give or take, is where we found mass support, support in the past. If that breaks, then we probably will drop towards the 200 moving average, which is a drop of roughly 10% from the highs. Uh, right here, 13,800 is roughly... 12% uh, from the high. So 10, 12% is usual, usual pullbacks um, for this time of year. And also after the massive rally that we have been seeing the last two or three months. Looking at the MACD, it is bearish. The, the stochastic is also bearish and the RSI is flat at this point. So momentum is definitely to the downside. But um, shorting these industries, um, that is always very tricky. If you look at the long-term trend here, they go up and it's much easier just to take advantage of uh, the dips than to um, trying to short this market. That is almost always a guarantee, a loss. So let's look at the German DAX and the German DAX is a far better um, entry point at this point than the other US indices as it is touching the 200 moving average and bouncing off the 200 moving average. If you manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we'll probably target the 50 and breaking above the 50, then we're most likely going to retest the 16K. Breaking below the uh, 200 moving average and then 300 moving average down here will probably come into play. If you look at the MACD, it is uh, bearish at this point. Stochastic is also bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. But due to the fact that we have been bouncing off the 200 moving average here, it is um, probably more likely that we will see a retest of the 20 and the 50 moving average uh, in the next few trading days. So let's look at the UK FTSE. So even with all the bad news that is going on in the UK economy, this tends to rally and it has rallied up towards the previous highs here 
trading at uh, 7,134 uh, at this current stage. And all technical indicators are looking very positive. If you manage to break above here, then the 7,200 will mostly come into play. If we break below the middle of the bullish band, then we're probably going to test the 200 moving average yet again. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 did create a shooting star here yesterday, and the day has been very choppy. If we end up below this shooting star, then it is more likely that we'll go and retest the bottom again. Taking uh, this candlestick out, then 300 moving average and 200 moving average will probably come into play. If you look at the MACD, it is bullish, and stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So it's trading within um, square here of the highs of roughly 16K and the very lows of 14, uh, 14 k so I'll be fine so you on the support channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much.